those patients that have larger lesions, those patients that have had substantial amounts of previous radiation, or those patients that have tumors that are very close to eloquent or important areas of the brain that would be very radiation sensitive, where, where you couldn't deliver radiation to the lesion without damaging those eloquent structures would be candidates for the extend system. Everything is, is uh, custom fit to that patient. There is a uh, system that detects any movement of the patient. The patient's pretty well secured by a vacuum system that's applied to the back of the head and, and to the inside of the mouth. That vacuum system has been very well tolerated in the patient that we've treated and the system will detect any subtle movements in the patient and if there were to be any movements the treatment would stop and the patient would be then repositioned so that we have so that we know that provided the patient does not trigger the system and therefore that we can fairly precisely and fairly, fairly accurately deliver the radiosurgery. This relies upon the gamma knife perfection which was the first sort of quantum leap in, in medical device, in, in radiosurgical platforms for the gamma knife. We got that perf gamma knife perfection in 2007 and then we were the second center in the, con second center in the country to get it and I believe the third in the world. The extend system is, is a addition to the gamma knife perfection and comparing it to other devices is, is compare, kind of like comparing apples to oranges. The gamma knife has the, the recognition as being the gold standard in terms of outcomes and in terms of safety. And it's, it's the only device that's had a track record of close to 40 years in terms of intracranial radiosurgery.